Hello, hello, everyone. Good evening, Miss Carmen and Miss Susana. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> it's very hot today. I can see that. Uh, it's very hot today. Yeah, I think it, it, it was hotter than yesterday. I don't know, right? All right. Hello, Susanna. Hello, teacher. Hello. Yeah, right now I'm sweating. As you can see, I'm sweating a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And there is a fan over there, you know, even though there's a fan right there. Y con ventilador. <laughs> yeah. Exagerado, se calor. I know, I know. It's too much. We will start the class with a review, uh, just to double check that everybody understands what we covered yesterday. Vamos a comenzar con un pequeño repaso. But uh, I need more participants to join the, uh, the class. So far, it's only you, Susana, Carmen, and Sarai. Okay, so. But let me, let me share the screen right away. Okay, let's comparto pantalla inmediatamente. So just one second. Hello, Sarai, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Yeah, you need to today, hide. Yes. Today is Women Power to teacher. Yeah, it's also Women Power, yes. I can see that. <laughs> that happened That happened in, in the last module because it was Susana, Sarai, and also, uh, we had another student. It was only women at the beginning of the class. Okay. <laughs> yes, women power. I agree with you, right? I agree with you. It was an alliance, right? Se va a sentir atacado, teacher. <laughs> no, not really. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. So acostumbrado, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> So five participants. No, but right now we have Mr. Hilber Hilberto joining the, uh, the class and also Mr. Luis Leiva. Okay. So now we have backup. Ya tenemos refuerzos. Tengo refuerzos. I have backup already. <laughs> 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 but it's still, it's still, you're winning. All right. Nos llevan la delantera. Always, right? <laughs> Okay, so the, uh, the words of the day is this one, keeping in touch. The meaning of this is to keep communicating with someone. And uh, for example, here is my email address, let's keep in touch. Mantenerse en contacto, se puede decir, let's keep in touch, let's keep in contact. Uh, and you're saying, mantengámonos comunicados, eso está diciendo usted, cuando dice keep in touch, okay? So that's the phrase or the word of this class. Okay. Any questions? Let me just say hello to Mr. Francisco, Mr. Reese, Mr. Nelson. Who else do we have in the, in the class? I have, um, let's see, Miss Sonia Mabel. Eh, she was not here yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Creo que no puedo unirse nos ayer. But here we are. Okay. 
Oh, let's see. No, no, no. You were here. Yeah, yes. you were. You were yesterday. Sí, so, oh, claro. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. All right. Right now, I'm learning your names and also your faces. Verdad? Estoy en el proceso de aprenderme sus nombres and your faces. Okay. Thank you. So let's continue with this. A friendly reminder, verdad? Solamente un pequeño recordatorio. So section one homework assignments do this coming Friday, April the 16th. And section one has five assignments. So the homework for this week, at least activity one, two, three, and four are due this coming Friday. Lo que le estoy diciendo en pocas palabras es que si pueden avanzar por lo menos en la primera unidad, aunque no la terminen, hacer exercise one, two, three, and four by Friday. Eh, hacemos el 80% de la primera tarea para eh, on Monday. So on Monday, you, you can finish your number one homework in the platform, okay? Podemos apartar ahí un par de minutos, verdad? Para ponernos nosotros al día con las cuestiones de las asignaturas, de, la, de las tareas, perdón. Eh, la recomendación que le, que le daba el día de ayer es que si usted puede compartirme en mensaje privado o poner una captura de pantalla del progreso o del cumplimiento de las tareas cada semana, damos como fecha límite cada viernes, okay? Viernes puede ser a medianoche, it could be at 1 a.m., a la 1 de la mañana, it could be at 10 p.m., but at any time, okay? That's optional. Es opcional que usted me comparta el avance. Eh, de esa forma yo reviso que se guardaron los cambios y todo en la plataforma, pero lo que sí es eh, riguroso es el complemento de las tareas, ¿verdad? el cumplimiento de las tareas cada semana, okay? Para que no se nos acumule, ¿verdad? Todas las tareas al final del, del módulo. Pero ustedes ya saben cómo funciona esto. Mi trabajo solamente es eh, animarlos y, y hacerles el breve recordatorio. So that's my job, you know, to remind you, to encourage you to do this. Okay? So let's start with a review. So yesterday I asked you to match the expressions to make eight sentences. And then what you were supposed to do is match these statements with the second part to complement this, okay? So, and that's why, let's do it together right here. And in this case, in this opportunity, I'll be texting this, all right? I'll be texting this. Uh, right now, anybody or can open her or his microphone and just tell me the answer, please. What I'm gonna do is to type the answers over there. Yo voy a digitar lo que usted me diga, okay? So you have the answers to avoid misunderstandings. Para evitar malos entendidos y que ya nos queden las respuestas por ahí. So you can have the answers right there. So can I have please a volunteer who can help me with the first one? Very, very quickly, please. Because this is just a review of what we did yesterday. Es un pequeño repaso de lo que hicimos ayer. Entonces necesito su ayuda. I need your help, please. All right? Mr. Francisco, you want to say something? No, no, teacher. All right, but would you like to help me with the first one, sir? Okay, number one, somebody's taking my bicycle. I forgot to lock it when I went into the shop. When I so went. The, the number one. Yeah, you got it. Thank you. When I went into the shop. All right, so Miss Carmen Lisette, go ahead, please. Number two. Have a great holiday. I hope to hear all about it when you come back. That's perfect. Varied when the, you come back. All right, thank you so much. So, anybody else, please, that would like to help me? Mr. Cesar, Miss Sarai, Mr. Eduardo, just to mention a couple of names of the people who were in class yesterday. Solo mencionar un par de nombres de si usted estuvo allá. All right. Number three, please. Maybe Mr. Cesar, if you would like to help us, sir. Si nos quisiera ayudar. My mom is 65 years old, but she's learning what? Okay, uh, number three is uh, to swim at the local pool. To swim at the local 
pool, all right? To swim at the local pool, at the local pool. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Sarai, would you like to help us on number four? Bruce didn't have a happy childhood. He prefers not to talk about it. Not to talk about it, right? Yeah, to una, una niñez difícil. So he prefers not to talk about it. Remember, when you use the infinitive in a negative form, you use not, okay? He prefers not to talk about it. Si el negativo va en medio de dos verbos, ponemos he prefers not to talk about it. Si usted, si usted uh, se refiriera a la misma persona, digamos, he doesn't prefer, he doesn't prefer to talk about it. Lo puede hacer de, de esa forma, ¿verdad? That's another option. He doesn't prefer to talk about it. That's another option. That's a possibility. Or you can say he prefers not to talk about it. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to choose somebody else who was in class yesterday. Mr. Edwin Sevillano, sir. Help us with number five. Good evening, sir. We need to say money is well agreed. Agreed. Uh huh. Not to go skiing this year. Not to go skiing this year. That's correct. Thank you so much. All right. Um, going to choose Miss uh, Susana, please. All right, Por uh, Portillo. Okay. Number six, yeah. I'm meeting John tonight with a ranch. Uh -huh. uh, to, have a, to have dinner in town. Correct, yeah, to have dinner in town, which means that they are not going to travel to a, a different city. So they will stay in town, all right? Like, for example, if you live in Los Planes, you don't have to go to Santa Tecla, for example. So you stay in town, okay? Or you don't have to go to the beach, for example. So we arranged to uh, have dinner in town, okay? And uh, going to choose somebody else. A gentleman now, Mr. Francisco, sir. Uh, no, no, you helped us already. Sorry about it. Uh, I'm just selecting names over here. Just picking names. All right. Mr. Old, sir. Good to see you, sir. So number six. Number five. No, no, no number six. I'm sorry. Got confused. Six, please. Uh, no, that's seven, right? I'm sorry about it. All right. Falta el cafecito. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So that table, Mr. Raul, is extremely heavy. Don't try to move it on your own. Correct. Don't try to move it. On your own, okay, and like that. Si no, right. la rabadilla. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, let me choose somebody else. This has to be a lady, but in this case, it's a new face. All right, so I don't forget uh, her name, Miss Sonia Mabel Lasso. If you would like to help us, please. I'll tell you what happened. Uh, I, I tell you what happened if you promise mm -hmm. not to tell our parents. Not to tell our parents, all right? It's like a brother talking to uh, another brother and then it's, okay, please, I'm going to tell you, but don't tell mom, right? If you promise not to tell our parents over there. So what is the main objective of, of this exercise? Is to understand that when you have two verbs, in the middle of the two verbs or the bridge needs to be two. Cuando tenemos dos verbos a la par, just right in the middle, you need to write two for most of verbs, ¿verdad? Para la mayoría de los verbos esto aplica. 
dos verbos no pueden ir a la par sin sufrir algún cambio. Alguno de ellos tiene que sufrir, sufrir un cambio. So you gotta change uh, at least one verb, the second one, ya sea que cambiemos esto, all right, the second verb, or we add something in the middle. And that's what we'll uh, cover this evening. Y lo que vamos a escribir esta clase, la otra cara de la moneda, right? The other side of the coin. But in the meantime, in the meantime, we're talking about the infinitive. Infinitive is ponerle el to en medio de dos verbos. All right? That's the infinitive. And right now we're going to repeat that, ¿verdad? With your microphone off, with your microphone apagado, everybody starts repeating the, uh, the sentences that, are, that I'm going to be highlighting. Vamos a, a resaltar. Estas partes, all right? And that's where you're going to be practicing right now. Okay. So let's begin, everyone, with your microphone on or off. You can uh, turn it on or you just can't have it off. Pueden encender o apagar su micrófono, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So I forgot to lock. All right, or I forgot to lock it. No vamos a decir toda la oración, pero cuestión de tiempo, ¿verdad? I hope to hear all about it. She's learning to swim. He prefers not to talk about it. Uh, we agree not to skim the year. We arrange to have dinner in town. Don't try to move it on your own. We promise not to tell our parents, all right? It would be incorrect if we, if we would say, si dijéramos, it would be incorrect if we say, I hope here, she's learning swim. He prefers not, uh, here, there's a mistake over here. Not to talk about it, right? So, si no le pone el to, gramaticalmente está incorrecto, all right? Se va a entender siempre el, el, lo que se está diciendo, pero gramaticalmente va a estar mal dicho, okay? Any questions so far for me? Sure. Yes, sir. Go ahead. En la, en la oración 8 es not tell or parent or not to tell. Not to tell. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was I was double checking this. Please try not to uh, to forget to to add two. O como le diríamos, don't forget to to write two. Siempre tiene que ir el two eh, enlazando el, el primer verbo y el segundo. All right. That's the rule. Esa es la regla. And thank you, sir, for, for, for uh, reminding me. Ahí era error de dedo. Okay. So promise not to tell. Don't try to, to move it. We arrange to have. We, are, we agree not to skin. Uh, en este caso, ustedes pueden decir, ah, pero este verbo está en ING. All right. Pero en realidad, así se escribe este verbo. Okay. No es que lo estamos conjugando en otro tiempo. Okay. So that's why. And then he prefers not to talk. She's learning to swim. I hope to hear. I forgot to lock it. Okay. But now this is getting, I would say, more interesting. Las cosas se están poniendo un poquito más interesante. I would say so. Okay. I would say so. Now let's take a look at the other screen that I have in here. I'm going to go full screen on my slide. And then we will continue practicing. Vamos a ver una siguiente eh, diapositiva which is going to have more information for you. Infinitive and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitive is to add two in the middle of two verbs, and the gerunds is changing the second verb. Tenemos dos, dos cosas aquí. So there are two cases. First case, el primer caso. You have two verbs, y en medio le pone el two. Like in these examples. I forgot to lock it. Teacher, are yes. you showing the screen? Uh, I'm supposed to, right? No, no. No, okay. Let me try it again. All right. Sorry about it. Hold on, please. Yeah, I think I, I am now. Can you see it now? 
Yes, yes. Okay, thanks. Thanks for, for your help. Okay, so we have two cases. So on one hand, in una mano, we have the infinitives and on the other one, we have gerunds for uses and purposes. What do we use infinitives and gerunds for uh, uses and purposes? An infinitive is to add to in the middle of a verb. And gerund is to make a verb into an ing form. El infinitivo, si tenemos dos verbos, le ponemos el to en medio de, all right? And the ing, que es el gerundio or gerund, the second verb, al segundo verbo le agregamos ing. Okay, that's the gerund and that's the difference. But that's the difference in the structure, ¿verdad? Le estoy más o menos dando pinceladas de la diferencia en estructura, ¿verdad? No en uso ni forma, cosas así. La forma le estoy mencionando. Sentences with infinitives and gerunds mean the same. Eso creo que es, es la clave. So that's the key, ¿verdad? The structure is different, ¿verdad? La estructura es diferente, but the meaning is the same. El significado es lo mismo. Ok. I repeat. Sentences with infinitives and gerunds mean the same. And I'm going to exemplify this to you with the following. Yo le puedo decir. I like drinking coffee. Ok. I like drinking coffee. Or I can tell you I like to drink coffee. I'm telling you the same thing. But in the first example, let's say I like to drink coffee or tequila or beer, whatever you want to say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But I can also tell you I like drinking coffee. In the second case, it's a gerund or an ing, but the meaning remains the same. Okay. Eso hay que recordarlo, ¿verdad? Aunque se escriba en ing, no, no es que estoy diciendo bebiendo. ¿Verdad? No estoy diciendo, I like drinking. Eh, me gusta bebiendo. No, me gusta beber o tomar. Ok, we say this. I continue reading. Continúo leyendo la explicación. I, for example, I use my cell phone to send text messages. Means the same as, si yo digo, oh, utilizo mi teléfono para enviar mensajes de texto. Significa lo mismo que, means the same as. I use my cell phone for sending text messages. Okay. In this case, we have something called preposition, ¿verdad? Y esa palabra gramatical, de hecho, yo no se las había mencionado ayer. I didn't mention that yesterday because I don't really like to use grammatical terms. Porque en realidad no me, no me eh, gusta ocupar términos gramaticales, ¿verdad? Tanto, pero en este caso es necesario. All right. So, esta palabrita, this little word over there, to, it's a preposition. Let's try to remember that. Entonces, el to, it's a preposition. Also, también, for, it's a preposition. Y aquí viene algo nuevo. So, there is something new right now. After, for, después de for, all verbs, todos, ¿verdad? All verbs need to take the ing form. Si usted ocupa esa palabrita, ¿verdad? For, que es una preposición, y usted ocupa un verbo inmediatamente después, el verbo tiene que ir en ing. All the time. Always. Aquí no le voy a decir 99% of the time, ¿verdad? Como unos jabones <ríe> que lo protegen. No, no, no. 99%. No, no, no. It's 100%. <ríe> right, Mr. Raúl. <ríe> ok. Yeah, in this case, it's 100%. Okay? And like my, my first grade teacher used to say, nos corregía la, la, la plana, we're going to make mistakes. You know, va a olvidar, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir, I use my cell phone for send text messages, and that's going to happen. Okay? But little by little, you are going to uh, make this better or perfect. Okay? Practice makes... Perfect. Recordemos la práctica hacia el maestro. Recapitulando, as a recap. The infinitive is, you have a verb, you put two, and then you have the other um, verb in there. En este caso, en medio de los dos verbos tenemos una frase, ¿verdad? 
yo ocupo, utilizo mi teléfono para enviar mensajes de texto. O puedo decir, yo ocupo o utilizo mi teléfono para enviar mensajes de texto. What is the only difference? What's the only difference? Let's see. Yep. What's the only difference? You use the verb in infinitive form in the first case with the two preposition and right. for gerund you use for and ing form the verb. The ing of the form, yes. The meaning is the same, the structure is the difference. Okay? The same meaning. That's that's the only change over there. On one hand we use two, on the other one we use four plus ing of a verb all the time, a hundred percent. For example, we have satellites are used for the studying weather. No pongamos atención a esta estructura que está por aquí que decimos are used. Esto lo vamos a estudiar. We will study this tomorrow or on Friday. Eso es la voz pasiva de un verbo. Okay, are used to. Que tenga el verbo to be y el verbo tome esta, tome esta base o esta forma es otra cosa. Right now, just pay attention that you have a verb. Tenemos un verbo por acá, used. Okay, and then you have for, and then you have the uh, ing of a verb. Los satélites son usados para estudiar el clima. Okay, o el tiempo, right? It's incorrect if you say satellites are used for to study the weather. Esta oración está incorrecta por dos, por dos cosas puede ser. Porque usted le agregó el to when it's not necessary and because you didn't change the ing verb, right? So for es una o la otra, es either or. Okay, pero nunca lo va a poner a la par. Eso es lo que le está diciendo este ejemplo. All right. But let's try to practice. Read each sentence about a technology item. Write two sentences about the items used and purpose. Use the information in parentheses. In these examples, we are going to learn and we will demonstrate, va a quedar demostrado, that when you say two or four to talk about the same thing, the meaning never changes. Solo la estructura. The, the only thing that changes is the structure. For example, my sister, number one, my sister's car has a built-in GPS system. And then we have the, uh, the clues over there. Tenemos la, la pista, verdad? Right there, or the hints. She uses get directions. Let's follow this structure. She uses the GPS system, para qué? What for? Para qué? What for? To get directions. Or she uses the GPS system for getting directions, okay? Do you have any questions about this so far? Hold on. All right, so what, what I'm telling you, everyone, is that uh, the two sentences mean the same. The only difference is the structure. La estructura es la única que cambia. Y si usted se fija, the beginning of the, of the sentence is the same, ¿verdad? La primera parte de la oración es, es lo mismo. She uses the GPS system A, literal B, letter B. She uses the GPS system Lo mismo, it's the same, right? In the primer caso, in the first case, we say to get directions. In the second one, we say for getting directions. This is like level two, ¿verdad? Eso como el nivel dos es lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Why? Because in this case, uh, right after uses, we have a like, a like a subject over there. Yes, Mr. Caesar. How can I help you? Bueno, ya solo como para ver si comprendí exactamente lo que lo que está explicando en las dos circunstancias eh, significa exactamente lo mismo la diferencia va a ser eh, 
bueno, la, la, el, el, el uso del to y del for, y que cuando usamos for, eh, le tenemos que agregar a cual, todos los verbos al 100% de las, de las ocasiones, el ing, y eso no en ningún momento está significando que eh, significa que le estoy agregando el ando, el endo, sino que es exactly. exactamente, eh, significa lo mismo que usar el tú. Yes, correct, correct. Ok, you got perfecto, it. gracias. You're welcome, sir. And why is that? Because you're talking about the purpose of something. Porque estamos hablando del propósito de algo. ¿Verdad? Okay. All right? Yeah, that's why. Okay. You can say, I wake up early in the morning to go to work. Me levanto temprano para ir a trabajar. I, I get up early, you know, for going to work. What happens, Mr. Cesar, and everybody else is that sometimes it's better to use to or sometimes it's better to use for. Because of the language, because of how it sounds. A veces decidimos utilizar uno el otro por cómo suena, or how you are familiar with, or because people use it that way, or porque la gente lo ocupa de esa forma, verdad? But in the end, it means the same. Okay, it means the same. Okay, so number two. Number two, we have I love my new smartphone, and then we have the hints. Y tenemos las pistas, pero tenemos I use, take pictures. Ok, entonces usted va a comenzar. I love my new smartphone. Or you can say, I, I use my new smartphone. I use my new smartphone. ¿Para qué? What for? To take pictures. To take pictures or? For taking pictures. For taking pictures. And it's the same thing. Yeah. Number three. That's a flash drive. USB, right? Flash drive es la USB. Flash drive. So you use... A flash drive. Uh huh. Everyone. Yes, a volunteer, please. Mr. Francisco, you want to say something? To back up files. files. To, back, to back up files. Back up, back up files. Or, or for backing up files. For backing up files, correct. Okay, number four. Um, my little brother wants his own laptop would only use, watch movies and play games. In this case, I'm gonna help you a little bit, all right? Les ayudo brevemente. Uh, it's the same thing, right? My little brother would only use, usaría solamente, would only use his own laptop. Okay, tell me the last part of the sentence, please. Uh, si me ayudan con la última parte. So my little brother, would only use his his watch. own laptop. Yes. To watch. Yes, to watch movies and play games, right? Teenagers, right? <laughs> yeah, teenagers. Okay, or for watching movies and playing games. And here there is another learning opportunity. Aquí hay una oportunidad para que aprendamos algo. You can say one word, two verse, three verse, or more words after four. And you, you got to change the ING form. No importa si ocupa después un verbo, solamente un verbo, o dos, o tres, o cuatro. Y después de for, tiene que cambiarle la ING a todos los verbos que van después de for, aunque no tengan el sujeto. All right? You got to be careful. For example, my little brother would only use um, his own laptop for watching movies and playing games. Okay? Because you have two verbs that follow the same structure. And sometimes we forget to change the second verb over there. Number five, I'm often on my computer. Sorry. Yes, I'm sorry, computer. go ahead. Can you, can you repeat the, the, the example of number four? Yeah, with correct. The second, with the second verb after yeah. two? Yeah. I'm gonna do something better. I'm gonna type the answers down. Voy a, voy, a, voy a digitar las, las respuestas por ahí, just to help you in a better way. All right. So just one second over here. Okay. One more, please. All right. Just need, I need to make the, uh, the screen a little bit. Um, smaller to do this okay 
I know I'm not sharing the screen right now, so todavía no lo estoy compartiendo la pantalla. Just one moment, please. Okay, so, but just to answer your question, over there is my little brother would only use his own laptop to watch movies and play video games. So you can say to watch movies and to play video games or to play games, okay? And play games. Si se fija, no es necesario poner el to dos veces porque nos referimos a, a, al infinitivo. El to del primer okay. verbo nos no da la pauta. But when you, add, when you add the ing, it's the same thing, right? You have to say, my little brother would only use his own laptop for playing, I'm sorry, for watching movies and playing games. Ah, okay. In the, the, in the second and third verb, you use the ing form if you are using for. Yeah, correct. And an infinitive, an infinitive form, the second and third verb, if you are using the preposition to. The preposition to, correct. But no repeat the preposition. Yeah, you don't have to repeat the preposition. Okay. Yeah, you can do it, but it's not necessary. It's not necessary. All right. Yeah, but I'm going to type the answers down over here because I think that's going to help you in a better way. Most of you. All right. So who can help me with? with the last one, with number five. I, I, I often, uh, no, I'm often on my computer all day long. Perdón. Frecuentemente ocupo la computadora. Eso quiere decir, o estoy en la computadora. That's what we're saying over there. A volunteer place who has not participated yet. Alguien que no haya participado este día. Yep. Can I have the answer on number five, please? All right, so in that case, okay. Um, all right, I'm going to choose over here. A, a good friend, you know, that uh, I think it's here in class. Yeah. Uh, Miss Susana, please, Mar Margarita, uh, put to you. Would you like to help us? All right. Hey, I love my new smartphone for take picture. <laughs> The last one, number five. Oh, yeah. Number five. Uh, I'm yes, also me on my computer all day long. Um, I'm mm. often on my computer use only in research to research. Mm hmm. But in this case, Susana, you have to use what, what's in parentheses. Vamos a ocupar lo que está en parentheses. Mm -hmm. In this case, so I use. Yeah, I use open, uh -huh. uh -huh. I use open my computer uh, to. Uh -huh. number three or number five. Perdón. Number five. Number five. No, igual ya también. Yo solamente estoy escribiendo las anteriores, ¿verdad? Solo para okay. que no nos perdamos. All right. So that's what I'm doing over there. So write in the other options over there. All right. So uh, somebody please remind me of number four, please. Solo le estoy escribiendo, ¿verdad? Para que no perdamos eh, la secuencia, ¿verdad? La, la idea. Okay, number four. Right. How was it? How was it? Number four. Uh -huh. My little brother. Yes. Uh, we only used to watch movie on play games. Correct. We, my little brother would only use that computer. I mean, his, his own laptop. Mm -hmm. His own laptop uh, to watch 
to watch movie movies. Movies play games. Movies or play and play games, right? Mm -hmm. And play games. <clears throat> and then we have the other option, my little brother. I would say he would only use mm -hmm. uh, the laptop. Yeah, in... I would say the laptop for ahorrarme palabras. For watching okay. movies. Playing now it's movies. Netflix, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. And playing games. Playing right? games. There we go. All right. There we go. I think it's it's understandable. And the last one. So the last one. All right. It, it will be uh, I use my computer all day long. You can say play. All day long. Also, right? <laughs> Yeah, you can okay. uh, I use my computer oh. all day long. And then you, you decide ING or, or infinitive to shop online and online. do research. Galán, ¿verdad? Para irse de, para comprar mm -hmm. <laughs> all day long. <laughs> okay. And do research, right? And do research for, for uh, shopping, okay, online and Remember doing research. Right? Okay. Para hacer eh, investigaciones o investigación. Interesting, right? Because you do shopping, you go shopping and you do research, right? Es como que nada que ver, ¿verdad? <laughs> or you research about shopping or investiga acerca de las compras, no sé. Okay. <laughs> so we don't know that, right? Okay. But this is just one example on how to use infinitives and, and gerunds when they have the same meaning. Es un ejemplo de los infinitives y los gerunds when they keep, cuando mantienen, when they keep their own meaning. All right? Um, at the end of the class, I'll, I'll be sharing with you a PDF with the class, so you can keep a record. ¿verdad? Al final de la clase les mando un documento PDF el, para que usted tenga la clase, ¿verdad? De lo que hemos visto. Ya no solamente tenga imágenes sueltas. Ok. So you can have something together. Now let me exemplify the use of uh, infinitives and gerunds with the following image. Les ejemplifico how to use infinitives and gerunds with the next image over there. All right. I guess that some of you might remember this image because I also used it uh, to uh, learn about a uh, average of frequency. Estudiamos esto con los adverbios de frecuencia y ocupé exactamente. I use exactly the same image. Okay. Maybe you remember this, maybe you don't, but that's not the case. So my point is perspectives. O puntos de vista, ¿verdad? Perspectivas, perspectives, computer usage, el uso de la computadora. How do you use a computer? Listen and respond to the statements. Rate your computer usage. Okay. And we, we will do this again, pero vamos a hacer como una práctica breve. And, uh, but in this case, the, uh, the objective is not to study the average of frequency, but now to understand the difference between two and four, ¿verdad? Ahorita el enfoque es no verlo, la cuestión de la frecuencia, ¿verdad? Average of frequency. But right now, use the uh, preposition two and four, ¿verdad? Two, infinitive, and four for gerunds. Okay? It does just grammar, ¿verdad? Son términos gramaticales. Okay? So I use a computer. Can I have a volunteer, please, who can help me read? The, uh, the phrases over there. Just like this. I use a computer to send emails. I use uh, for watching movies and you just continue like that. Please. You don't have to repeat, I use a computer. Volunteer, please. Uh, I, use, I yeah. use a computer to send email. Uh, no, perdón. I use computer to often send emails. Yeah, you can say that. But in this case, Flor, we're not going to pay attention to the average of frequency. Okay. okay. Sometimes. Mm, yeah, no, but my point is, Flor, let's just say, say it in the meantime. 
I use a computer to send emails for watching movies, to play games. No ocupemos los, los adverbios porque mi objetivo es ahorita que se fijen en la diferencia de two y four. Okay, so that's your job. All right. Si usted lo quiere personalizar, if you want to customize it and, and say, I use a computer or I sometimes use a computer to send emails, that's perfect. Pero ahorita vamos a ocuparlo así como está escrito, ¿verdad? I use a computer to send emails for watching movies. Solamente quisiera que ustedes practicaran en lugar que yo lo leyera. Y eso es lo que usted me va a ayudar a hacer ahorita. Ok, just to read. Ok. Ok, thank you. Go ahead, please. I use a computer to send emails. I use a computer to send emails. I use a computer for watching movies, to play games, mm -hmm. to shop online, okay. for doing a school assignment, uh -huh. to learn language, yep. for video chatting, uh -huh. to check the weather, yep. to read the news, for downloading music. For downloading music. Okay, thank you so much. One more person, please. One more person. It could be a lady, all right? Or it could be a gentleman, verdad? Uh, Sonia, you, you want okay. to help? Thank you. Go ahead. Please. ¿Qué necesita? Just read. Read uh, the same, same yeah, thing. No, yeah, yeah, please. Tal yeah. cual. Yeah. I use computer to send emails. I use mm -hmm. computer to watch in movies, to play games, to shop online. For doing a school assignment, to learn language, language, mm -hmm. for video sharing, to check the water, to read the news, for downloading music. All right, thank you so much. Okay. Now, listen up, please. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, pronounce the statements again. So I use a computer to send emails, for watching movies, to play games to shop online for doing school assignments, okay? Asignaciones, assignments or tareas. If you're talking about school tasks, si está hablando de cuestiones escolares, school tense, or you, it's assignments. Assignments means homework, tareas escolares, okay? O asignaciones. But if you're talking about things that you have to do at work, cuestiones, eh, asignaciones en su trabajo, it's assignment, right? It's the same thing to learn languages, for video chatting, to check the weather, to read the news, and for downloaded music. Que se note el, el ING, please, la pronunciación del ING. Y que se note la S al final de la palabra, okay? Emails, movies, games, assignments, languages, chatting, um, downloading, watching, doing, not doing, it's doing, please. Y lo digo en general, ¿verdad? No porque acabamos de leer. Ok, that's what I'm saying that, just in general. All right. So, let's continue over here. You don't really have to do something right here. Now, sigo con una, una breve explicación. Yo va, va a haber el momento para que practiquemos. Ok, and just bear with me, please. Just be patient. All right. Germs and infinitives. In your mind, you have to think of a germ as an ing form of a verb. And as an infinitive, you need to think of the preposition to plus a verb. Cuando usted piense en esta palabra gerundios o como sea, piense en un verbo en ing. All right? In infinitives, think of a verb seguido de la, de la preposición to. Pero en este momento les voy a mencionar un concepto nuevo. So let me men mention uh, to you a new concept. Para que un verbo se escriba en ing, no necesariamente tiene que ir seguido de una preposición. O no, no necesariamente tengo que decir yo, for, y luego doing, or for watching TV. Ok, or for, I don't know. And, and, and sometimes, if there are two verbs together, the second verb is, is in ing. Algunas veces, y aquí se ocupa esa palabra, sometimes el segundo verbo toma la estructura de un ing. ¿Ok? But that is sometimes. Si son verbos específicos, para que no nos compliquemos. But in most cases, pero en la mayoría de casos, eh, el segundo verbo 
se escribe en infinitivo. You, you, you write it down in infinitive. For example, si usted dice agree, right? Choose, decide, want, forget. Remember, the second verb se va a escribir en infinitivo. Usted va a decir, he wanted to play football. Acordó jugar basketball, puede decir. My friend agreed to play basketball. Okay. My uh, son chose, en pasado lo puedo decir, or chooses not to do the homework, ¿verdad? O elige no hacer la tarea. I decide to uh, use my car or not, ¿verdad? I decide to use my car or not. El punto es, so my point is that si usted escribe un verbo, después de agree, choose, decide, want, forget and remember, the second verb needs to be in infinitive. En este caso no podemos decir nosotros, I agree for playing, or I agree for, for, for I choose for playing. No, no, no. I want I want, like, like in, in, the, in the song, right, from, from Queen, I want to break free, right? <laughs> like that song over there. So that's a great example. So he doesn't say, I want uh, for breaking free. No, no, no. He said, I want to break free. Okay. But you're going to learn this, let's see, unconsciously, verdad? The, the logic will tell you which is correct. La lógica no va a decir cuál es lo correcto. Okay. Usted dice, olvidé tal cosa. I forget or I forgot to something. I remember to, I agree to, I choose to, I decide to. Es como que al final de, esta, de este verbo, de una sola vez agregue del to. All right? I want to go home. Usted está en el trabajo. You're at, you're at work and you say, I want to go home. All right? Or I want to sleep. You say, quiero dormir. I want to rest. All right? I want to go out. I remember to go shopping, okay? Uh, me acuerdo tal cosa. All right, so this is the point right now. These verbs are followed by infinity. Mi punto es, my point is, el segundo verbo toma la estructura del infinitivo, el cual es la preposición de to y el verbo en su forma básica, okay? All right, so that's the point over here. Second case. Let's start from the top to the bottom, all right? Comencemos de, desde el, el, la parte superior a la inferior, you know? From the top to the bottom, this part. Some verbs are followed only by germs. Enfatizo eso, so I emphasize this. So some verbs are, fo are followed by only by germs. Algunos verbos son seguidos únicamente de ING. For example, I enjoy watching action movies. I consider applying for a new job. Okay, I finish uh, studying English or I finish sending emails. I quit smoking. I miss going out with my friends. Lo que hice fue ocupar varios ejemplos después de estos verbos, all right? The, the verb that is next to them next to be in ing. So that's the point over there. Creo que ustedes ya notaron que yo no agrego ninguna preposición. No le estoy agregando el for ni nada. O sea, aquí el verbo solamente después de enjoy, después de avoid, consider, finish, quit, and miss. Si un verbo va a la par, no le agregamos el to. No lo hacemos eh, infinitivo, sino que solamente cambiamos la forma del segundo verbo. Y lo hacemos en ing, que es el gerundio. Y significa lo mismo, ¿verdad? Yo disfruto mirar películas de acción, ok yo dejé de fumar yo extraño ir a, la, ir a la playa por ejemplo, ok en este caso no es necesario agregarle el for ni nada sino que solamente el verbo porque va a la par ok, Te, toma la estructura del ing, always ok, that's always right? it's always, all the time ok let me go back to the previous screen and this one's in esta in este caso these verbs want to remember and 
yo voy a agregar otro, right? With my third grade writing, ¿verdad? Con mi letra de tercer grado. Okay. Needs. The verb needs also follows the infinitive form, ¿verdad? I need to drink water. Okay. Needs is an example of infinitive. Okay. But an example of infinitive is I miss eh, going to the movie theater, ¿verdad? Est extraño ir al cine. You can say I miss. And here you have to say going to the movies, right? Okay. Any questions so far? Alguna Teacher, pregunta? Any uh, yes. The, Go ahead. In the case of the verb like is the first case. I like to watch. Uh, you no, For it's actually the last case that we will start. The last, the last. Uh -huh. This one. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I have you there. Okay. But thanks for asking. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna get there almost. Ya casi llegamos. <laughs> Okay, thanks for asking. So some verbs are followed by a preposition in germs. Okay. Y aquí algo que yo, eh, alguien me dijo la siguiente clave, creo que a usted les va a ayudar mucho. Cuando usted ocupe cualquier preposición, y se lo digo por eso en español, cuando usted ocupe cualquier preposición, for, about, like, on, y todo lo que tenemos aquí, ¿verdad? Tenemos in, We have like, like in este caso es una preposición, ¿verdad? Me siento como, ¿verdad? Like, like a sun, right? I feel like dancing, right? Okay, plan on. This is a preposition. This is a preposition. About, right? About is a very common preposition. Después de estas preposiciones, es regla gramatical. Y aquí sí les menciono reglas gramaticales. El verbo que va acá, seguido de esto, tiene que ir en ING. Okay. Right. All the time. Ok. Usted puede decir, yo creo en eh, el trabajo duro, ¿verdad? O, o, o que trabajar de una forma eh, ardua eh, lo saca adelante. So, I believe in working hard. Ok. In working hard. Yo creo en el trabajo duro, trabajar eh, de una forma ardua. Lo que quiero que usted recuerde de, de este pequeño... Eh, Listado es que después de preposiciones como for, about, at, on, y todo eso, el verbo va en ing. Ok. And that's less common. No es tan común que usted mire esos ejemplos. Usted puede decir, I'm, uh, I will, I'm thinking about, ese es otro tiempo gramatical, pero usted dice, yo estoy pensando, I'm thinking about, um, I don't know, uh, making a phone call. About, this is making a phone call. Porque usted ocupa el about, el verbo tiene que ir en ing seguidamente. All right? Try to remember that, please. Okay, maybe not right now, but try to remember. Like in this case, I sometimes I worry about growing old. Algunas veces me preocupo de envejecer. Okay, that's what we're saying, mother. Sometimes I worry about, como ocupo el about, el verbo va en ing. Por cuestión gramatical, en, en el significado, es como que si fuera un infinitivo, ¿verdad? Algunas veces me preocupo envejecer. No necesariamente tiene que traducir el about, sino que solamente va ahí porque es cuestión de gramática. ¿Ok? So it's like the appendix, right? You have it there and uh, because it's part of the body, right? But we don't really use it, I would say. But Susana Portillo knows better. <laughs> Right, el apéndice, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, because she's a doctor. All right, let's continue with this. The last example. Some verbs are followed by either infinitives or gerunds with no change in meaning of the sentence. Algunas veces ocupamos ya sea el infinitivo to o el ing. Okay, and the verb does not change. For example, we, if, you, if you want to say love, hate, like, And the other ones, uh, begin, continue, and store. Usted puede decir, I hate doing the dishes, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Detesto lavar los platos. Usted puede decir, I hate washing the uh, dishes or I hate to wash the dishes. Cuando usted expresa emoción, like in this case, or, or hate, like, and love, usted está expresando, ¿verdad? You, you're expressing a feeling, right? In that case, you can say, I like swimming or I like to swim. 
But I need to make a clarification uh, for you. Le voy a hacer una pequeña aclaración. Es más común, it's more common to use an ING after this verse. Es más común que usted encuentre, ¿verdad? Que alguien le diga, I like swimming, que le diga, I like to swim. But both cases are okay. All right? Both cases are okay. So you can say, uh, I continue explaining this topic. O yo les puedo preguntar, can I continue talking about this? Les estoy preguntando, ¿verdad? En forma real. In this, can I continue talking about this? Puedo continuar hablando de esto. Yo les puedo decir, can I continue to talk about this? In, in, in the end, I decide. Es un ejemplo real que les estoy diciendo. O usted me dice, I like to practice. Okay, English better. Me gusta practicar. ¿verdad? I like to practice. O me dice, I like practicing English. You decide. Okay. But as I was telling you, como les decía, es más común que, que alguien le diga, I like swimming, que, que le diga, I like to swim. All right? That's it. Let, let's do like a recap. So, so far, we study the verbs that only uh, take the infinitive. Si usted mira estos verbos, want, forget, remember, need. Y acordémonos con cosas clave, ¿verdad? Como I want to break free, ¿verdad? Eh, I agree. And at least out of these six or seven verbs, let's learn two. Por lo menos aprendámonos dos. Y tenemos, pongamos la tarea o el objetivo de aprendernos dos de esto, dos de cada uno. So two out of each category. So next chart, some verbs are followed by germs, ¿verdad? En estos casos que solo sigue el, el ING, aprendámonos enjoy, right? And maybe finish, please. Okay, and on the other one, en este caso no necesariamente tiene que aprenderse algo, sino que solamente recordar que después de about o de cualquier preposición que no sea tú, el verbo va en ing. Okay, so that's what you need to remember. And on the next one, I, it's either or, ¿verdad? Uno o el otro. You can say, uh, I hate, um, um, let's see, what can you say about hate? I hate being in the traffic jam, ¿verdad? Okay, o detesto estar en el tráfico. Or you can say, I hate to be in the traffic jam. Okay, so that's the case over there. Any questions so far? I know grammar sometimes is complicated, okay? But right now we're gonna practice, okay? So- sure, only, all, Sorry, only for the second, third, and fourth case, when you are using the ING form is without the preposition for. Always use the verb at last verb ING form, the second, third, and fourth. Correct. Okay. If you use for, always you need to use an ing of, of, of the verb. Okay. Always. The only exception is that if you use to, the verb never changes. But for the other prepositions, for, about, uh, on, at, any other preposition, you have to use ing. Okay. And that is always, always. In some cases, in some cases, por la gramática que es así como crazy grammar, hasta con un to preposition y el verbo lo va a poner en ING, pero son casos así como extraordinarios. So it's a very extreme case. Ok. Let me share a screen with you right now. So give me just one second so you can practice. All right? So you can practice. Okay, I'm sorry about it. I found this screen. So let's go ahead and practice, please. So grammar quiz, verse followed by germs and infinitives, okay?
Okay, so listen up, please, everyone. Uh, I'll be sending uh, to you right now in the chat this quiz, and I'll be making a breaker room so you can practice as a group. Okay, so right now uh, there comes the opportunity so you can practice these 16 questions uh, and so you can um, learn. For example, if on number one, my family and I really enjoy maybe to go or going or maybe A and B are correct, okay? Okay. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. But first of all, do you have any questions? Of course, I'm going to share with you the uh, images where you have the rules and the verbs. Obviamente, les voy a compartir las imágenes de los verbos que decían que cuál lleva ing, cuál lleva infinitivo y todo eso. All right. So you just can double check it over there. This is not a memory test. And since you're gonna be working in, in groups of three, you can help each other. So let's make this as a as a team activity, right? As a group activity. Hagamos esto como grupal. All right. So I'm going to send you to the breaker rooms so you can take this quiz and then have a discussion, ¿verdad? Los envío en los grupos de tres para que podamos practicar, debatir, discutir, right? So that's what I'm going to be doing. So two things you, you will be getting from me. Dos cosas van a recibir de mi parte. A PDF with the quiz and some images with... Um, with the verse, ¿verdad? Los cuadritos que les mandé por ahí, el con esos verbos, eso van a recibir de mi parte. All right? So here we go. Just one sec. All right, so the rooms are open. Go ahead, please, and join me. Thank you.
going to the park on weekend. Hey, pero no nos mandó, teacher, la, la, la referencia de la de donde está clave o las fórmulas, por decirlo así, de donde vamos. No, la referencia, no, 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 la referencia. Resolver. Ya, yeah, I'm working ah, on that. Yeah, I'm working ah. on that. Right <laughs> the second, yeah. let's watch that yeah. movie. I, I'm working no. on that right now. But thanks for that. Gracias, gracias. Yeah. Okay. I, I was making it into a PDF. Lo estaba convirtiendo en PDF para mejor manejo. So that's why. Aterrizó y aterrizó. Yeah, there you go. Ya toma agua ahí. Yes, as you as you were saying, Mr. Francisco, the second document is the rules or the reference, and the first mm -hmm. one is the quiz. Okay? Yeah. Gracias, gracias. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Feature, for example, on the second, uh, uh, so, no, I hate. Hate can be with plus two and verb in infinitive or with very ID form. Correct. That's why it's letter C, right? Letter C. Ah, okay. Because it's both both. Or, ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Can somebody share the screen or maybe not? Uh, you, you cannot share the screen. Um, Tal vez alguien puede compartir pantalla o you can take it that way. Don't worry about it. If you can't, don't worry about it. All right. Si, si, no, si no es posible, no se preocupe. All right. All right, so try to continue, please. I'll see you around. Okay. Pienso yo porque es es un sentimiento o cabe también eh, la posibilidad de I hate to watch y ahí está poniendo to watch and watching. All right, hello gentlemen. What number are you are you working on right now? What number? Number two. Number two. It's number two. Number two. Yeah, it says, let's watch the new movie. No, I hate. Um... Letter C. Yeah. Oh, yeah, correct. Because of the rule, right? Por la regla, right? Because of the rule. Yes. Okay, my friend doesn't want. One. Yeah, Mr. Raul, sometimes there is something like a voice, right? Como una vocecita, ¿verdad? Que le dice, uh, that's the one, right? Que le, esa suena mejor, le dice. Y así me voy yo a veces. <laughs> that's what I do. Descarte, por descarte, Mr. Alfonso. My friend doesn't want to go out. To go out today because he's sick. He's sick, right? Yeah. Letter, letter A. Yeah, correct. It's letter A. It's letter A. Before, I love Si gusta, puedo agrandarlo. O está bien así. No, I think it's okay that way. I think it's okay, sir. Lo que pasa es que mis ardillitas están pensando las dos que <laughs> El answer, ¿verdad? Está como ya. Yeah. yeah. I love, I love window shopping. Just remember everyone, when you're expressing feelings, okay, or emotions, you can use ing or infinitive. Cuando estamos expresando eh, hasta deseo, emociones, eh, se ocupa cualquiera. Usted puede decir, I hate to go, or I hate going. Same as Love, hate, like, todos esos, ¿verdad? Puede ser cualquiera, el ING o el infinitivo, right? Letra C. Son number four. I yeah. love to window shop or I love window shopping. But I love window shopping, yeah, correct. correct. We agree. Right. 
is number we agreed to sell at our car yes. hi teacher hello hello teacher, hi, teacher um, nosotros estamos trabajando a ver igual de ir resolviendo esto y verificar después las respuestas yeah, that's okay. que están abajito yeah. así yeah. era verdad yes yes okay yes entonces okay but don't Thank do you. it the other way around. Don't do it the other way around. <laughs> no lo hagamos al revés. <laughs> no, 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 vamos, vamos bien. Okay. Nah. The third, number three. My friend does one. Uh, to go to baby because he's sick. Yeah. Mis amigos no van a ir porque están enfermos. Sería to go. Yeah, to go. Correct. To go. Yes. Okay, number three. Number four. I love. Just remember that when you're expressing feelings like love, hate, or likes, cuando se pre expresa preferencias de algo, like love, hate, enjoy, like, you can use ing or to. Okay. 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 This is literal. Hey, I love the window shop in my free time. But it's either or, cualquiera, verdad? El ing o el infinitivo, el infinitive or 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 ing. Okay. Well, option C, la tres. Option C, correct. It should be option C. Yes. It should be option C. No. Yeah, okay. and then and then check out the answers, please. Let's just double check the answers. Vamos a ver si no lo estoy mintiendo. Let's see if I'm lying to you. Usted va a ver, nosotros no. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Number five, we agreed our car for a cheaper price. Okay. I think number. Um, ¿Cómo se dice literal? O we say option. Letter. You, you can say option or letter. Okay. Option I think or option B. Option B. Selling. We agree selling our car for a cheap price. Okay. But I disagree with you. All right. I disagree with you, Miss Susana. To sell. To sell. sell. Yes. To sell. Okay. Yes, I see. Because yeah. don't say for. Yeah. It's, it's like when you say, I want to, I need to. Sell. I agree too. Yes, okay. yes. Yeah, that way. Okay. Option A. Uh, number six. You remember. You remember. You send the email. Mm -hmm. That restaurant, no, no. house. He likes Italian food. food. Por ahí la rescaté, Claudia. Sí, yo dije que fue lo que pasó, ya se acabó el tiempo y no terminé. Sí. La rescaté. En inglés, estaban hablando, y el compañero se quedó solo. Como, como goza, ¿verdad, Sara? Ay, no. Hizo más el título, dije. Por el mal ajeno. No. Ay, Right. Ahorita está Mr. César en su salsa, ¿verdad? Con, Aquí con ahorita. PDF, ahí, ¿verdad? Compartiendo. Ayer se sentía cuto. Cabal. Cabal. Yeah. Ok. Y Bye. en la 7, así se, y, y sería. No estoy seguro. Okay. Fíjense que un tip que les quería compartir. Un tip, yes, ¿verdad? Good. Like a key, uh, con una clave. Aprendamos el verbo ya de una sola vez con la preposición, si es el infinitivo. Por ejemplo, usted diga, Thomas eh, wants to. Cuando usted se lo aprenda o se lo quiera memorizar, agréguele de una sola vez el to. O el need to, agree to. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Y así usted ya le sale de una forma natural. En ese caso es Thomas wants to eat at our restaurant because he likes Italian food. Uh -huh. O acuérdese de algo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, yo me acuerdo de la canción de Queen. Este, I want to break free. No, le porque gusta me guste canción, o, no me, o no me guste la canción, pero el hecho de que... Eh, lo relaciona. Eh, lo relaciona, ¿verdad? Lo que se me ocurre. Okay. Sí. Or, or I want to go home. Una frase, me quiero ir a casa. I want to go home. I 
want to go home or I want to sleep. Sí, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, me too, right? Yeah. But I want Teacher, to solo que, con la, solo que con la canción que usted mencionó al principio, como no puedo en inglés, nosotros lo, allá buena refri decimos, fíjense. <laughs> está bien, está bien. Está bien. Está bien. Está bien. Es cierto, ¿verdad? Es cierto. Es I cierto. want to break, break freeze. Break, break freeze. freeze. Uh, break freeze. Uh, y ahí literalmente está diciendo que quiere salir del closet, dice. <risa> <risa> sí, porque es como así, mira, la expresión, I want to break free, sí, want to break free. No, y luego ve el video y no hay para yeah, dónde. I know, I know, no hay vuelta de ojo. De ojo. Number okay. eight, she started. started. Total. Creo que era, no, espérame. Le mandé, le mandé dos documentos. Aquí estoy todavía. Sí. sí, sí le mandé, le eso, mandé sí, lo estamos usando. las reglas gramaticales, que es referencia, y también el, el ejercicio en sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, busquemos el, el start. Sí, eso estaba. Okay. Start. Y en ese caso, puede ser uno o el otro. Okay. Cualquiera de los dos pues estaría Está en la última, por eso Exacto. pensé que... Exacto. Uh -huh. Es uno o el otro, cualquiera. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So you can, escribiendo, sí, si usted se fija la literal C, letter C, it's always uh, A and B, right? La literal C le mm -hmm. está diciendo cualquiera. Ok. Mm -hmm. Y la estructura es la letter A is infinitive, and letter B is ING, letter C is either one, cualquiera. Mm -hmm. Entonces, mm -hmm. que ahorita usted ya se aprendió el patrón, ¿verdad? El corner. So, in that case, uh, let me see your screen. Vamos a ver su pantalla. Number, what's the number, Mr. Sisa? Perdón. Puede bajar un poquito, por favor. Uh, ¿Así? Ahí está. Number, ah, la 3C, ¿verdad? Perdón. ¿O cuál número es? La 9. Vamos, vamos por number, la 9. Okay, number 9, okay. We decided. Okay, we decided. Ajá. Uh -huh. To travel. Yeah, we decided to travel. Correct. Ok, repita tú. Eh, es, es, es similar bueno, a... Lo que pasa es que el to France va después de decidimos viajar a dónde? A Francia. Ah, a Francia. Okay. Ajá. Está bien. We a decided to travel to France. Walter Adam. I mean, he's trying to. Estaba en la red. Taking. Taking. Quiero ver. Segundos. No, pero. Mr. What? Acá está, ya, lo estábamos esperando. Hello, hello. Sí. Uh -huh. Gracias, teacher. Estamos hello. realiando. Hello, teacher. Yeah. How can I help you? Ya, es que estábamos, eh, ya viendo los ejercicios, estamos seguros que no nos quedó claro. Ok. Cuando utilizar eh, to go o going, porque nosotros ya, por ejemplo, en el uh -huh. ejercicio en el 7 y en el 8. Ok. No se nos hacía tan fácil distinguir si era okay. to walk, por ejemplo, o, o okay. walking. Ok. ¿Cuál es el truco, teacher? El truco es... La clave, la clave. La clave, la clave es que no hay, que no hay clave, no, no, no mentira. Lo <risa> <risa> okay. que dice que aquí es cuestión de memoria en este caso, ok. Usted tiene que aprenderse por lo menos algunos verbos. Eh, por ejemplo, después de want, decide... Eat, uh -huh. agree, el verbo es uh -huh. infinitivo, va a ocupar el to, ok, pero en algunos casos como los verbos start, continue, love, cuestiones de que usted expresa, expresa sentimientos, verdad, como cariño, eh, gustos, preferencias como like, um, love, hate, puede usted decirlo en ing okay. o en, en, en to, que es el infinitivo. Entonces es cuestión de, de que usted me, se memorice el, estos verbos claves. No hay vuelta de hoja. No hay, otro, no hay otra clave. ¿Ok? Y la forma en que usted se los aprenda es, váyase a los extremos. Apréndase los que son siempre en infinitivo y los que son siempre en ING. Luego apréndase lo que cae en cualquier categoría. Y muchas veces su misma lógica le va a decir, ¿verdad? Aunque a veces nos equivocamos de lógica. <risa> ¿Ok? Eh. 
Sí, entonces... Sí. Eh... Ah, bueno, entonces esta memoria, es que nosotros le estamos hallando la lógica si el, el verbo inicial estaba en su forma natural o si tenía algo... No sé, queríamos... El tiempo gramatical, no... perdón, el tiempo gramatical del, del, del primer verbo al, al final no es relevante. Eh, ok. Que lo, lo, lo que importa acá es que si van dos verbos a la par, el segundo, usted le agrega el to para hacerlo infinitivo o lo convierte en ing. Ese es el punto acá. Eh, cualquiera de las dos es, es la correcta. Es que yo eso les decía. Para ciertos que yo verbos. Les decía pero que cualquiera, para, exacto, pero como aquí verbos. tenemos que aprendernos esto. Sí, exacto. Ah, Ajá. Bueno, entonces es de memorizarlo antes. Exactamente. O la cuestión de la práctica, cuando usted lo mire y lo lea, uh -huh. aquí lo único que le voy a ayudar a usted es la lectura, digamos, o que usted mire el, uh -huh. la, las oraciones, ya, porque si se pone a memorizarse, eh, es mentira. Aquí se lo digo por experiencia. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, por eso, este, este, este ejercicio tiene do, dos partes. Las respuestas uh -huh. que están abajo y uh -huh. aquí están, ¿verdad? Las interrogantes para que usted diga, no, no, entonces esto uh -huh. es lo otro, ¿verdad? Ya usted más o menos se aprenda un verbo. Lo peor que no habíamos visto la respuesta. Ya, yeah, I know. <risa> sí, por eso no se los mencioné, pero eh, lo, lo correcto sería, ok, hágalo y luego corrobore. So, double check it. Uh -huh. Ya usted diga, ok, ah, pues sí está muy bien. Y si usted se fija, este ejercicio tiene un patrón, ¿verdad? Eh, la literal A es infinitivo, la B es ING y la C puede ser ambos. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces, uh, did you finish already? No sé si ya terminaron eh, los, los 16 ítems. No, si no. vamos por el 10, lo que pasa es que uh -huh. como teníamos la confusión y todos eran lo mismo, okay. entonces todos los íbamos a ir a hacer como probando, como adivinando, y es lo que nos You're queríamos, right. queríamos right. aclarar con ustedes antes de seguirle, porque mm -hmm. realmente era como lo que nos sonara. Ahorita, si ahorita, sí, la verdad que esa es una buena técnica, pero lo otro que podemos hacer es ocupar la referencia, ¿verdad? Ocupemos, uh -huh. le mandé dos documentos, la, uh -huh. lo, las reglas o las, los verbos, y el ejercicio en sí, que es el quiz. Entonces lo que podemos hacer es, busquemos el verbo. Ah, no había visto las redes. Busquemos el verbo y luego revisemos si, se, si el, el verbo que va a la par va en ING o en infinitivo y así lo hacemos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No había visto las reglas, pero acá están. Okay. Yes, two more minutes, and then I'm going to take you back to the main class, all right? En dos minutos regresamos para darle seguimiento a esto. Okay. Una preguntilla. Dígame. Usted nos va a enviar todo ese material, ¿verdad? El que nos está mostrando. Eh, lo de la presentación se lo voy a mandar en formato PDF, ya para que todo esté en orden. Ah, ok. Ajá, todo junto, eso es lo que dije. Sí. Uh -huh. Ya. Gracias. You're welcome. Or to, okay. watch, or to watch. Mm -hmm. the... Or to watch. Or to watch. Okay. okay. My friend. Does... Okay. My friend doesn't want, does, doesn't want to go out today because he is sick. Mm -hmm. That's perfect, sir. Yep. And we never say, Mr. Nelson, I'm sorry, Mr. Perdón que lo interrumpa. We never say, my friend doesn't want going. No, we never say that. Siempre es infinito. It's always infinite. Always. All right? Always. Okay. Number four, Carmen. Number four, I, I love the window. Hi, teacher. Hello. Finish. You finished already. What's your score? Yes. I am so <laughs> Only a certain. Thirteen. Okay, out of yes, I okay. want like sixty-three. It's a good score. Okay, thirteen. It's a good score. Let me give you the percentages. Le doy el porcentaje, verdad? Cuánto refleja trece de dieciséis? Sixteen. Thirteen out of sixteen. All right. Let me use the card. Igual, Flor acertó más que yo. Flor llegó al noventa y cuatro por ciento. Nice, Flor. Nice. Good job. Yeah, thirteen is. 81% you got, uh, Miss Susana, and then Floor got. Uh, how many you got, Floor? 
Eh, no, teacher, yo creo que llegué al, al no, Susan, yo creo que llegué como al 14. 14. 88%, but that's 88%, that's a good number. Okay, es que and Miss Susana was just okay. passing your score, ¿verdad, Rafaelita? <laughs> tengo, que, tengo que estudiar más, I need studying. Yeah, that's what the book says over there. Right? A lot. So you need to study, right? <laughs> yes. You need to study a little bit more. Yes. Okay. But that's okay. So let's go back to the main That's session. all with that. Excuse okay. me? That's all this activity? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll see. All right, so I'm sorry, Flor and Miss Susana. I left when, when she was speaking, brother. Perdón, la dejé hablando. All right, sorry about that. Uh, Don't worry, that's okay. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do right now is getting one of you, or one person out of each breaker room to help me with one statement and the answer. So, voy a elegir a una persona de, de cada grupo compartido. Para que me ayude, ¿verdad? Con la, con un so we can close up the chapter over here and we can complete the whole, the whole cycle para completar el ciclo of this thing. Okay. So I'm going to get the names out of the breaker room. So we have six. No, no, no. We have five breaker rooms. In the first one, we have Carmen, Francisco, and Nelson. Second one, we have uh, uh, Mr. Alfonso, Miss Daisy, and Raul, and so on. So let me choose uh, Miss Miss Carmen Lisette Hernandez. Number one, please. Would you help us? My family and I really enjoy going to the park on weekend. Okay. Only going, right? Or is Only it? Going. Okay. Yeah, going, right? Thank you so much. Okay. Um, let me let me highlight this. There you go. On um, breaker room number two, Mr. Alfonso Cabrera, would you help us, sir? Okay, number two is, let's watch that that new movie. Movie. Um, no, I had head watching horror movies. Okay, it, it's is it only uh. ING or can we take A or B? I'm asking you uh, not because you don't know, but I just want you to, I, I want to make sure that you're hundred percent sure. Okay. Let's look at the answers over there. Okay. You see, sir. Remember that when you're, when you're expressing feelings, love, hate, preferences, likes and dislikes, uh, the, the second verb can be in ing or infinitive. Para los verbos que expresan cariño, eh, afecto, gusto, disgusto, el segundo verbo puede ir en, en infinitivo o en ing. Y, y la estructura de la respuesta es option A o letter A is infinitive to watch. Option B is ing. And the last one is A and B. Lo que quiere decir que después de hate puede ir el, el ING or, or the infinitive. All right? Okay. All right, teacher. Thank you. So, but in that case, Mr. Since, since we're practicing, you know, we're just 
could you could you say it again please just to practice so let's watch the new movie no mr alfonso i hate sorry teacher um uh, me dijo lo repito perdón yeah just repeat uh, okay let's watch that new movie no i hate to watch uh, to watch to watch to watch or, or watch huh? horror movies horror movies correct yeah you're right in letter c that's a correct one over there it's letter c okay yeah. thank you you're welcome sir so number three um mr cesar Obviamente no lo puede elegir a todos, ¿verdad? Ustedes, sino que solo vamos a hacer una muestra de los seis grupos. Lo, luego yo voy a, a eh, seleccionar, ¿verdad? Las respuestas. You know, just to help you right there. So, Mr. Cesar, my friend. Okay, number three. My friends doesn't uh, want uh, to go out today because he's sick. Yeah, correct. It's an infinitive form. Thank you, sir. That's letter eight. Okay, so next participant right now. Um, Miss uh, Luis Armando, please. Number four. Number four. I love. I love to window shop or window shopping. Yes, sir. Correct. You got it. Okay. A and B are correct. A and B are correct. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I love window shopping in my free time. It's all just to practice, sir. Could you finish the idea? Concluyamos la, la idea, please. I love window shopping in my free time. I often go to shopping more with my friends i often go to a shopping mall with my friends thank you sir and the next one would be miss um susana hernandez please if you are over here or floor hi yeah thank you number five please number five we agree to sell our car for a cheaper price yes and that is letter eight right perfect thank you so much and let's see if i did not skip one of you um mr raul would you help us with number six sir if you remember Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can look at the answer. Don't worry about it, right? <laughs> did you remember? Did you remember? Like Michael Jackson, right? We don't fight. <laughs> All right. Remember. Infinity or ING? Like like I said one time, uh, Garcia Marquez decía, right? He used to say, "Cuando nuestra memoria no es muy buena o no falle, hagámonos una de papel." Decía, right? He used to say, that. <laughs> and that's what we're doing right now. Did you remember to send the email? To send the email, sir, and that's what people tell you, right? <laughs> At work. Do you remember to send the email? Did you remember? Se acordó de enviar el, el, el correo. Oh, <laughs> that happens. I you're right. <laughs> Every single day, right? And you go, oops. I, uh, no, I forgot. Okay. Thank you, sir. So to send. Welcome. Right. Okay, to send right there. And uh, just for purpose. Okay. Voy a tomar el atrevimiento solamente rapidito, ¿verdad? Ir seleccionando los temas. So, let's go very quickly. So, Thomas wants number seven. Thomas wants to eat at that restaurant because he likes Italian food. Después de once, 
always you need to write infinitive too. She studied, this, with the study, you have the option, ing or infinitive. She studied uh, walking or she studied to walk. So it's up to you over there. Please correct me if I'm wrong, ¿verdad? Corríjame, por favor, que a veces como el chavo, ¿verdad? La chiri... No, 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 como el otro señor, la chiripiota. Uh, we decided, uh -huh. to travel, right? To travel to France and Germany on our summer holiday, number 10. I miss, in this case, you need to use an ING, right? Letter B, am I correct? I'm mistaken. Yeah. Teacher. Yes. And the number A is a uh, boat. It's Car. both, right? Yeah, yeah you're Car. right. It's, it's either or, right? It's, it's actually C. both, yeah. She started doing or, or, or yeah, you're, you're correct. Yeah, that's what I was, you know, telling you, okay. please correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, yeah, so on that one is, is either one. Let me erase this and get this one, okay? Oops. All right, let me select this. Sometimes the system fails, so, okay, it's both right there. What about, what about uh, when you use uh, miss, is it both or only ing? I miss taking long walks or can I say I miss to take long walks? With ing. Always with ing. Right. Yeah, I miss taking long walks uh, along the beach. My mother asked me to, right? to help her clean the house. After a few hours, for more hours, it continue always with infinitive to rain. Do you feel like, and here is either one, right? Cualquiera puede ser, if I'm not mistaken. Either one, the right? Number, and the number 12, they both 30. Are you sure? Yeah, you're right. We sí. can say, yeah, we sí. can say, yeah, either one. Yeah, you're right. Let me tell you why I, I select this one. No, yo siempre ocupo el, el, el tú por costumbre. Pero es porque yo así, obviamente me acostumbre. But it's either one, right? Entonces, a, al final de cuentas, y no es, no es para justificar ni nada, ¿verdad? Usted decide en algunos verbos eh, si, si ocupar el ING y el infinitivo cuando se pueda, ¿verdad? En este caso. Entonces, it continue to rain or it continue raining. Right, you can say you can say that. Uh, 14. I enjoy. All right. Por cierto, esto también es cuestión no solamente un, un, un eh, desafío, verdad, para ustedes, sino que también para mí, porque una cosa es a veces poder hablar inglés o más o menos tener un poquito más de tiempo de hablar inglés y qué cuestiones de gramática. So that's difficult. All right, trust me. So I enjoy, okay, is that having to have or both or only ing, my friends? Having. Having, right? Yes, I enjoy having. I really don't like, in that case, is either one, right? Yep. Teacher, right? teacher, yeah. and the number, and the number 13. Uh -huh. Do you feel like, feel like, it's not only like as a verb, you feel like as a preposition. It's also, it's also like uh -huh. a preposition, but in uh -huh. this case, in this case is, it's a preposition and you have to use an ING. Um, yeah, only you're right. I, I, I didn't realize it. Do you feel like, uh, yeah. only like, ING? Going, like going out? You're right, because like, yeah, because it's a preposition. Yeah, you're right. It's a, it's a preposition over there. Like in the example, we, we studied, right? Like about, I like to talk about, right? And that one, right? Like you feel like dancing, right? Like that one. It's it's a preposition. Yeah, it's not a verb over there. Oh, let me just get this correct. There. there you go. All right. Do you feel like going out to eat at a restaurant 
como que se siente como para salir a comer, ¿verdad? Eh, en 16, I invited my friends. Ok, después de invite, always you need to use an infinitive. All right. Ok, so after this, you need to, uh, maybe you notice, quizás ya se dio cuenta that there are some rules that are easier to understand or to remember. Creo que se dio cuenta de eso, ¿verdad? Que unas reglas son más fáciles de aprenderse que otras. All right. And sometimes we get confused. But what matters is that you speak correctly. No se preocupe aprenderse tantas de estas cosas, but in the end, write key terms. Aprendámonos cosas claves. So that's the point over there. Okay, so that's the point right there. So let's continue. Let's continue with, with something different for this class. All right, let's continue with something different over there. But before we, we finish this class, if you have a score between 15 and 16, it's excellent. If you have 13 or 14, it's good. 12 or less, we need to study more. We, you and I, right? We need to study a little bit more, okay? And uh, you have the answers over here and you have the percentages. So 13 is 81%, 12 is 75%, and then uh, 16 is 100%. These are the percentages, right? The grades as percentages, okay? Para que usted tenga una idea. And this one gives you from elementary to an intermediate level. O sea que si usted sacó el, el 16 de acá, 16 points, you have like, a, a whole, like an intermediate level, all right? Así usted se va midiendo, ¿verdad? Cómo estamos con cuestiones de gramática. Okay, so that's the idea over there. Um, let me stop sharing this screen and go back to the presentation which I have ready for you. All right. There comes the time to read right now. Okay, there comes the time to read. And for that, uh, I'm going to be using the, uh, the, the textbook that we've been given from Inglés Corporativo, from Insafor right now. So that's the one we're going to be using. Okay. So just one second. All right. Let's, let's study some vocabulary. Let's forget about the grammar and things like that. Now, I, I want to help you with some vocabulary that is uh, part of the platform. Enfoquémonos en cuestión de vocabulario y pronunciación que aparece en la plataforma la cual usted tiene que completar esta semana. All right, so I'm going to help you with that. And it's also vocabulary that is going to help you at your work. It's like a technical vocabulary, vocabulario un poquito más técnico. Related to the company. Remember that the name of the unit is company identity, right? What identity? El nombre de la unidad es esta, right? This is the one, company identity. So efficiency, innovation, respect, punctuality, service to others, integrity, loyalty, and responsibility. Okay, so these are companies' values, son valores de una compañía, okay, that you need to have. But I'm going to give you another one, okay? I'm going to give you another one over there. And that one is commitment. Commitment. Eso es compromiso. Commitment. Let me send it to the chat. All right. Commitment. All right. It's compromiso. So, think of efficiency, innovation, integrity, loyalty, responsibility, respect, punctuality, service to other. Can you think of two more values that we should have at work? Podríamos pensar en otros dos eh, virtudes que podríamos nosotros tener en el trabajo. Can you think of that one, please? We have responsibility already, punctuality, right? Service to others, respect, loyalty, ¿verdad? lealtad, loyalty. Cooperación, cooperativity, ¿cómo es? Cooperation, you mean? Cooperation. Yeah, you may say that, cooperation. Yeah, that, that, that could be a, a good one over there. Yes. 
maybe tolerance. Can we say that? Tolerance, yeah, we need to be very tolerant, right? <laughs> yes. Patience. Can we say patience too? Patience over there. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna open this in the uh, in a different part because I wanna I wanna write over there. Okay. Vamos a abrirlo con, con, el, con el programa en sí, ¿verdad? Y eso es lo que le voy a compartir. Okay, just one second. Let me just look at the page number. All right? Just one second. Right now, just practice the uh, the pronunciation. And then on exercise number five, over there, you're going to complete a sentence with the vocabulary word over there. All right? And I'm going to give you the meaning of each word, at least to give you some examples. ¿Verdad? Lo vamos a ejemplificar. This is page 12. Okay, comparto pantalla en este momento. All right, so let me share the screen right now. Um, just one moment, please. Why are we studying this? Because it's part of, of a company vocabulary and it's also part of the platform, all right? So that, that's why we are studying this right now, okay? And uh, here we go, all right now. I'm about to share the screen right now. Vamos a compartir pantalla. Here we go. Okay, so I was telling you that you can choose two more, uh, I'm sorry, some, some more values over here, okay? There you go, commitment. And since I have the this in English, it's gonna give me a correction, cooperation. Any other one, please, that you can tell me. I also told you, and I'm gonna write them over here, uh, tolerance, all right? Also a uh, patience. You can also say diligence, okay? And so on. Honesty, right? But honesty is the same as perseverance, right? Or as integrity. Integrity is that, uh, your, you have good values and qualities in, in you, right? Integridad, right? Okay. Which one? Transparency. Transparency. Transparency, yes. You're transparent, right? Transparency. Yeah, transparency. That's also necessary. Uh, another one. Uh, Trust, confianza, verdad? Yeah, trust is necessary at the company over there. What else? This is just a brainstorming. Es como una lluvia de idea. What, what we're doing right now is, is, is a brainstorming. Um, maybe this one, humbleness, humildad, or modesty. To take the feedback in a, in a, a uh, mature way. Okay. Hay que ser modesto, ¿verdad? Para uh, aceptar, ¿verdad? Los, los, los comentarios, ¿verdad? El feedback que nos dan. Okay. So that's what I'm saying more. Though. But this is just vocabulary. So let's try to use these words in context. Tratemos de ocupar estas palabras en context. All right. Uh, these are extra ones. Commitment, cooperation, tolerance, patience, diligence, or transparency, trust, humbleness, or honesty. Uh, these are extra words. Solamente vocabulario extra que le estoy dando. Why? Because we're talking about company, company identity, right? La identidad de su compañía. Okay? You have the mission and the vision of a company. So right now, what we're going to do is to complete this uh, exercise number five with the words from the box. Completamos ejercicio número cinco con las pal algunas palabras de, de que están acá. For example, number one, I apply punctuality when I get to my job on time. Puntualidad, punctuality, punctua, chua, punctuality. Okay, punctuality. Number two, when I welcome customers to the store, I show respect. Service to other. You can say service to others, yeah. Service to others. It could be this one, but we'll see. 
number three is to accept your mistakes and their consequences. What is that? Responsibility. Responsibility, right? It's responsibility. Correct, responsibility. Okay, I show when I finish my duties on time. Uh-huh. Efficiency. Efficiency, right? Efficiency. Efficiency. Efficiency, Efficiency. yeah. Uh, duties or tasks or, or responsibilities, you can say. Duties, responsibilities, tasks, assignments are the same thing, verdad? Okay, number five, if I suggest a creative solution to my team, I apply? Innovation. Innovation, correct. I apply innovation. Okay, number six, when I offer help to a customer, I demonstrate it could be the other one, right? Yeah. Service, to service to others. Yeah, service to others again, right? Service to others. Operation. Or? Yeah, yeah, also cooperation. Respect. Right? Respect as well, right? You, you show respect for, for the customer over there. So one more time, why are we studying this? Because it's also part of the company environment. It's part of the environment. De una compañía, and also because it's part of the platform, okay? When you complete the platform and, and the homework for this week, you're going to see this vocabulary. That's why we're studying this. So I'm just giving you some clues about this, all right? I'm just giving you some clues about this. Um, I'm gonna get a screenshot and send it to you um, in, in the material that I'll be sharing with you. Esto va, va también a ser parte de, de lo que les voy a compartir, ¿verdad? Para que lo tengan de una sola vez ahí. And uh, it's almost time to finish, but just to let you know, this one, you know, for the, uh, for the uh, prepositions and for the infinitives and terms. <laughs> We're gonna complete this, all right? Y ya para relajarnos un poquito, ¿verdad? Uh, we, we have discussed the answers to the questions below. Compare your answers with, with, with a purview. It says, who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plan? No vamos a responder, ¿verdad? No, no, no. We're not going to answer. My point is, take a look at this. You see prepositions, right? For keeping. For keeping, right? Who is in charge of directing? Ok, lo que les decía, ¿verdad? Cualquier preposición, si el verbo, el que va después, ocupan ING. Ok. All right. Who is responsible to? Ok. That, that changes everything, right? There. Ok. And then we have the explanation of everything, like in this case. Last exercise that we're going to be doing right now. Ok. Ya sabemos la, la regla, ¿verdad? You know the rule already. After a preposition, uh, uh, for, of, about, like, the verb is in ing, okay? Who would like to help me? ¿Verdad? ¿Quién se anima a hacer cinco oraciones? Who would like to help me? Or maybe three or two, right? Who would like to help me over? Carmen, go ahead, please. Who is responsible? Who is responsible for supervising the machine operator? For supervising the uh, machine operator. Thank you so much. Number two, who is in charge? Uh-huh. You, you may continue, Miss Miss Carmen. Sorry. Who is uh -huh. in charge of checking the quality of the product? Checking the quality of the product. And the last one for you. Miss, Miss Carmen. Who is responsible for repairing? For repairing, repairing. 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 Repair. Okay. Repairing the problem. Yeah. Who's responsible for repair? Repair. Repairing the problems of the machines. Okay. Thank you so much. Somebody else, please. Number four, five, and six. And then I say goodbye to you. All right. 
be a gentleman. Who is accountable for selling the product? Oh, gentleman, okay. All right. So who is accountable for selling, you said, right? Okay, thank you. Number five, continue, please. Who is in charge of? Of assisting. Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Okay, and the last one, everyone. Who is accountable for managing? For managing man the whole operation. Accountable for es quien es responsable, verdad? A quien le toca? Accountable man for. Accountable for. Right? Accountable for. Okay, and that's it. So I gotta say goodbye to you, my friends. And we cover many things in this class. So now at least you know the difference between uh, germs, ing, and the difference between infinitives. All right? You know that already. Okay, and then we cover this, this vocabulary as well. Uh, according to what I have on my screen, ¿verdad? de acuerdo a los 101 o las secciones privadas, este día iba Mr. César, pero él ya se adelantó. Okay, I remember that yesterday. And I have yesterday's schedule. It was according to this. Bueno, espero estar compartiendo la pantalla correctamente. Okay, so I hope I'm sharing this correctly. Yesterday was Mr. Alfonso Cabrera. So, Mr. Alfonso, I guess it's your turn tonight. Okay? So, so hope to see you uh, in a couple of seconds over here. So, everyone, have a great night and rest, please. Bye. Bye. Good night. 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 So that everyone leaves the mire. Solo antes de que esperemos que todos eh, abandonen, verdad, la nave. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, teacher. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Well, well. Vamos a poner a, a Sandra aquí en espera. There we go. All right. Okay. So, como que yo le estuviera vendiendo algo. So, how can I help you? <laughs> okay. Ah. Estaba recibiendo un noticio, un mensaje. Ah, ok. Estaba respondiendo. Sorry, teacher. Don't worry about it. Ok. Um, We can do this in Spanish or English, so it's up to you. So you decide. Well, the practice, practice in English. Yeah, we should practice in English, right? That's the idea. That's the idea. Ok. Prefiero mejor practicar un poquito. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, do you have any questions about the infinitives or the gerunds, Mr. Alfonso? Um, repeat all, teacher, please. Yeah. Do you have any questions about the grammar? Any um, questions about two or any questions about ing? Tiene alguna consulta? Do you have any questions for me? Uh, sí. Yeah. De... yeah, I can share the screen if you want me to. Lo puedo compartir pantalla si 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 gusta. All right. Okay. All right. Sí, esas son. Yeah. Mm -mm. This. Estas son correctos. Ok, ok. Vamos a ver. Solo me repite nuevamente la, 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 eh, la, las rule. reglas. The rule, yeah. Yes. Yeah, solo sí. Please. Um, Let me stop sharing this screen. Así brevemente, vamos, vamos okay. a explicarlo. Here we go. Um, vamos a ver. There we go. Here I can write something. Okay. Rule number one states that if you use 
agree, let's say decide once, just to give you some examples, ¿verdad? Solo para algunos ejemplos. Mm -hmm. After these verbs, the second verb needs to be in infinitive. I want to go to the beach, for example. All right? So I'm saying I want to go to the beach. Okay? And in this case, you can say I decided, porque ya lo decidió, ¿verdad? I decided to study English. That's what you said, like, Two weeks ago or last year, esto fue lo que yo decido o decidí estudiar inglés. Okay. Mm -hmm. I agree to go shop. No, no, no. To go to the, uh, let's say, stadium, right? This is just an example, right? It's just an mm -hmm. example. So, what I'm telling me is that if you have agree, decide, want, and if you want to use another verb, Let's go a little bit bigger. Si usted quiere usar otro segundo verbo después de agree, decide, and want to, and want, you need to do it in, in an infinitive. So I decided to study, to go, etc. Over there. Okay. ¿Qué significa? Que si usted ocupa estos verbos, el siguiente verbo tiene que ocupar el to y luego el verbo en su forma básica. Mm -hmm. Always. Okay. Always. All the time. So that's the rule. Over there. That's why you can say, quiero pan dulce, dice usted. I want to eat sweet bread, right? Okay. Or mm -hmm. I want to have a vacation, but I quiero tener una vacación. I want to have a vacation, just like that. Okay. Okay. So that's rule number one. Uh, rule number two uh, states that for, for, for the verbs, Avoid, consider, enjoy, finish, quit, and miss. You need to always use ing. Para estos verbos es lo contrario. Si usted ocupa un segundo verbo seguido de avoid, consider, enjoy, and finish, you need to use an ing. O sea, el segundo verbo tiene que tomar la base de ing. Okay. Utilizando esto. Utilizando estos verbos de avoid, consider, and enjoy. Yo voy a ocupar ahorita uno, el más común de todos. Enjoy and, and, and quit. Para mí, ¿verdad? Son los más mm -hmm. comunes para mí. Sí. That, that's for me. Okay, so I, I will go. I enjoy. Y aquí me voy a tirar flores yo, solo, yo solito. <laughs> <laughs> ya, a ver. I enjoy studying English. All right. Como que usted lo dijera. I enjoy studying English. Yo disfruto estudiar inglés. Okay. So always, 100% of the time, Mr. Mr. Alfonso, you need to use an ING form of a verb. Después de enjoy, después de quit, va a ocupar el ING del verbo. All the time. Like, for example, si usted dice, yo dejé de fumar. No, te no. To say, yeah, yeah. Quit, <laughs> quit. <laughs> <laughs> quit is dejar o abandonar. Okay. okay. I quit. Fumar, ¿cómo se dice? How do you say fumar? Mm. Smoking is cigar. Correct. De, de hecho, es, es fumar el, el, el verbo. Smoke. Ah. Así, smoke es el verbo, pero ya en ING es smoking. Smoking. Oh. Pero usted está diciendo, yo dejé de fumar. Just like that. Mm. I quit smoking. Entonces, después de miss, quit, enjoy, y esos verbos, finish, siempre va a ocupar el ING del verbo, si va a la par otro verbo. Ok. Porque usted bien podría decir, dejé el cigarro, I quit cigarettes. Smoke. I'm sure. Cigarettes, dejé el cigarro, pero no me está diciendo dejé de fumar, sino que lo mismo me está diciendo, pero de otra forma. De otra manera. Okay. You are using a different way to, to express the same idea. Okay. okay. But, in, but in this case, since you are using two verbs, you're saying, I quit smoking. Y aquí puede especificar porque la gente fuma de lo que sea. <laughs> 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 I quit smoking cigarettes. O oh, oh, si es un poquito más picky, va a decir cigars, ¿verdad? puros. <laughs> ah, bárbaro. <laughs> no, realmente ninguno. <laughs> no, ni quiera sus pulmones. <laughs> sí. I know, pero el punto es ese, ¿verdad? I quit smoking cigars or I quit smoking, whatever, right? 
¿ok? Yo siento que es, eh, va a costar un poco uh -huh. memorizarlo, pero... Sí, pero esto lleva, eso solamente es para que usted lo conozca y al final de cuentas lo que yo quisiera que ustedes, o sea, todos, todos reconocieran el infinitivo y el ING. Ahí ya hay ganancia. Okay. Y, y, y reconoci reconociera también, mister, eh, de que cual, después de cualquier proposición, y se la voy a enumerar acá. Mm -hmm. right? That's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to number the propositions over there. Después de cualquier proposición, at, for, about, y las que están acá, the ones we have here, uh, like, eh, y pueden, se me olvida un gran montón. You have many mm -hmm. propositions. Si usted elige un verbo, lo va a decir en ING. Always. Going, doing, working, etc. Ok. Después el, de cualquiera el, de esta y preposición. La, la preposición más común es for, for and about. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Después de esas proposiciones, si usted ocupa un verbo, lo tiene que escribir en ING. Y el caso es, I use my computer for working, right? Ok. Or I use my cell phone to send messages. Pero usted elige, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ok. La preposición to. La regla es que el verbo se escribe en su forma básica. To do, to go, to, do, to, to work. Do, to work. Si se fija, el to es la única sección de las otras preposiciones. Con las otras preposiciones, el verbo le va a cambiar. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, esta noche usted tuvo que haber eh, por lo menos identificado dos cosas. Ok. El infinitivo y el, y, y el gerundio, que es el ing. Y que después de un montón de preposiciones como for, at, about, like, the verb is in ing. And the only, the only exception is to. Because with to, the verb never changes. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Y ya si quiere usted eh, ser un poquito más nerdo. <risa> ¿Ok? Ya me va a recordar, ok, eh, hay unos verbos que solo ocupan el to y hay otros que ocupan el ing y otros que ocupan ambos. ¿verdad? Entonces, that's where you both You say to, infinitive, or ing, or both. Son tres, tres reglas. Pueden ser más. Ok. To, mm -hmm. ing, and both, ¿verdad? Lo que ocupan solo el infinitivo, el gerundio y ambos. Okay. Si usted se queda con eso, ya la hizo. <risa> okay. Ahí está todo. <risa> Ahí está todo. Ok. Ahí está todo. Bueno. Mañana voy a, voy, les voy a mencionar eso, ¿verdad? Solamente ahorita les di el susto. <risa> eso no fue el dulcito ajá y ya con okay. eso verdad entonces eh, ya yeah. es almost time okay. Do, dos minutos más si gusta por, por cuestiones de, de grabación para que nos salga completo porque a veces se pierde fíjese en lo que nos metemos a los breaker rooms se pierde un minuto que no se graba ok entonces, no problem teacher yeah thank okay. you so le, sí. let me give you let me give you a trailer pero no sé si usted tiene alguna algo que, que mencionar yes Uh, yeah. And yesterday, one uh -huh. problem. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay. Sí, uh, tu, uh, tuve problemas para la para conectarme. Okay, okay. Es, fue por la tormenta, entonces ahora por la mañana tuve una llamada. Uh -huh. Sí, lo fiscalizan bastante de ahí. De... <laughs> sí, correcto. Entonces okay. eh, hacía hacía mención de que esta semana probablemente yo espero que mañana sea último día eh, okay. de, de un trabajo que tenemos ahorita, un proyecto. Entonces yeah. se me está dificultando un poco. Ok. Eh, yo espero que esta semana, a más tardar mañana, quizás en caso extremo, viernes, eh, cierre ese inconveniente. Tal vez uh -huh. en el lapso de la semana, eh, bueno, en, el, en lo que falta de la semana, Uh -huh. Quizá eh, habrá momentos que estaré conectado, pero tal vez cenando algo a la carrera. No, eso le iba a mencionar. Tengo, a veces vengo tarde. Lo importante es no perder el tiempo de conexión. O sea, el objetivo primordial es aprender. ¿verdad? Todos queremos sí, correcto. aprender. Pero para guardar el cupo, ya caso bien extremo, usted me escribe y, y ya solamente para aclarar. Por cuestiones a veces, ¿verdad? De que yo lo, para que uno no piense, ahí está y no participa. ¿verdad? 
Entonces, uh -huh. como que solamente me aclara, me voy a conectar, pero no, no, no voy a poder unirme a los grupos compartidos. Y yo ya lo entiendo. ¿Ok? Comprendo. Y usted se queda como oyente, ¿verdad? Y ya uh -huh. después se pone al hilo. Entonces, a veces, por cuestiones de internet, se va la luz o algo, no se puede, pero lo, lo que yo le recomiendo es rebúsquese, si, no sé, poner una recarga, aunque sea solamente para que le dure las la dos horas, o sea, uh -huh. algo, pero si ya no se puede, pero modo, mantenerse, uh -huh. modo, correcto por, por, por el 80% de asistencia, porque en Insafor ahí son cuadrados, es, ¿sí, ¿sí o no? Hey, comprendo, comprendo. Entonces, no es cuestión de que, que, que si yo pudiera hacer algo, de, de le pongo ahí una sección, yo lo hago. Pero como no depende de, ni de nosotros en inglés corporativo ni del profesor, es como que. Sí, esa ah, parte la comprendo, creo. Esa parte. Ajá. Entonces, tal vez solo eh, hacer mención de eso, pero igual, en todo caso, creería yo que solo será okay. tal vez el complemento de esta semana. Esperemos que mañana sea el último día. Yo espero okay. también, porque okay. ya. Complicado. Sí. Eh, como profesor de mi parte, eh, yo me distraigo en la clase, ¿sí? en el sentido de que a mí se me olvida cualquier otra cosa, aquí está mi hijo de repente, se escucha quien de ríe para abajo, yo soy con ustedes, y yo espero que a pesar de los problemas que usted pueda tener o cosas del trabajo, enfoquémonos en esto y a lo demás, ahí vamos poco a poco, ¿verdad? Porque... En parte, estudiar inglés es como una distracción, el hecho de que, ay, qué chivo es esto, sí va. <risa> <risa> ¿Verdad? Vender so, algo nuevo. I know, I know. And let's try to practice, you know, let's try to take advantage of, of your classmates, ¿verdad? Apoyémonos con los compañeros, ¿verdad? Hay unos compañeros que son un poquito más listos, a veces nosotros les ayudamos, ¿verdad? De eso se trata. Perfecto. Okay. That's the idea, sir. Ok. All right, so, see you tomorrow. Mr. Alfonso. Okay, see you tomorrow, teacher. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye.